for the work we have sustained in the Dutch government of human kind. We beseech you to behold with your abundant favor. As your servant, whom we have been pleased to call to the performance of such important trust in this name. Let your blessings descend upon us, yet in silent assembled, and grant that we may, as in your presence, treat and consider all matters that shall come under our deliberation in so just and faithful a, a manner as to promote your honor and glory and to advance the good of those whose interests we have committed to our charge, all which we ask in the name and for the sake of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs>
thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I rise to give watches so that on the third day, the 19th of October 2023, I will bring a motion telling you my name that this house takes note of the report on the second summit of the committees of the future held in Montevideo, Uruguay from 25 to 27 September 2023. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, in terms of section 12, subsection 1, Order from this Act, Chapter 2218, I lay upon the table the reports of the Auditor General being number one, the report on appropriation accounts and fund accounts in the area as of 31 December 2021, number two, the report on appropriation accounts, finance and revenue statements, and fund accounts for the year ended December 31, 2022. Number three, the report on state enterprises and parastatals for the year end of 31, December 2022. And number four, the report on local authorities for the year end of December 31, 2022. Madam Speaker, I also lay on the table the following reports in terms of section 309, subsection 2 of the Constitution of Zimbabwe, laid together with Section 11, subsection 1 of the Audit Office Act, Chapter 2218. <coughs> Value for Money Audit Report on Monitoring of Devolution Pilot Projects by the Ministry of Local Government and Public Works. I thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you. Those of 
mashandiro, maingeni mashandiro, epata na waka pata mkuma yewe. Lekudaro, mbatuwe chigawe. Paka, paka wa, ne mungana, wekuti wa vigenzu mbuko, wa unguro, wofe ya yao, kuti igo, wana kuti, jimanga pasiwa, wakati, jikishu za, jichi, tari kwa kuti. Ma, liza uti, eku, kwa chiku, kwa usiku, eku, eku, komisheni yao, eku, eku, kote, kwa chiku, kwa usiku, na tenu.
important to highlight the report of the race of the nation in vision with the MTSY and vision 2030. Madam Speaker, allow me to applaud His Excellency President Manangawa for giving special attention to the youth sector and it is very pleased to inform that this how to develop a cashier in the youth field, national youth field, which will provide for mechanisms to participate mainstreaming of the youth who are demographically the majority and social, economic, and political spaces, as well as the sustainment of vocational training centers and start for youth participation in the group in our nation. I further plead with this parliament to prioritize this event's attempt to use who are the majority of our population. <laughs>
the welfare of waiters, pensioners, and the many issues that you have to produce. This, uh, this is the testimony that the excellent president, Dr. Idi Nangawa, is engaged in creating an opportunity for the country to enjoy a people-centered government which listens to the concerns of the country. Madam Speaker, this excellent president of the Second Republic, Dr. Idi Nangawa, quoted several bills which will be tabled before this other house. All of which is to ensure that we conform to the dictates of our own constitution. Of interest to the climate change bill, set the agenda of ensuring that communities are equipped to mitigate the effects of climate change, which includes drought and other shocks of climate change that are not limited to natural phenomena. I wish to thank this excellent president of the Republic of the Republic of the Republic of the Republic for his commitment to see a developed Zimbabwe under MDS 1 and 2. In this trajectory, it looks like this. The president's mantra in Katino Wakwane is right. A child is able to have to put the mind, the will, and to contribute towards the development of our country. God bless the Republic. Hey! 
na president redi baba wa mnanga bwa vakataura zvakati wanei vakapatanya na utumi kuti ike zvino takatarisana na upfumi ndingangoti ike zvino upfumi wedu wati vandu dzike nokuti kana tikatarisa mamiriri akaita zvino pasuya mitengo yezvino yanga ichingo kuira zuva nezuva asi pari zvino ike zvino tirikuona kuti mitengo yakatsikanira saka tinoda kutenga hurende yababa vamunanga vakufanira kuti mitengo itsikane muzvitoro munotengwa nerushinde rwevanhu ndobva ipapo president vedo akataura nyaya yezvokurima nemadiridziro ndokuwa ndaona kuti a muno muzimbabwe hukumi hwedu hunodeya kupatwa kukurikidza nenyaya dzokurima Saka ndaona kuti pavaka taura chaya zvokurima nemadiridziro ndakabva nafunga kuwa mazino miririra kuzaka kuti constituency ndokuti ndaona kuti constituency iyo inonzi zaka not ine vanhu vanorima zvokuti kana vakapfuwa zvipanisiro zvakakwana vano vavaita noma zvono mazvo chaizvo chaizvo saka ndakatarisa ipapo ndakaona kuti kana tiri kuzaka district zaka kuti constituency ndiyo constituency ino sadza kura ratikati GMB yejirera kana mvura ichinge yana yashakanaka saka mukuru anyika pakataura zvinakiridziro zveirrigation ndakaona zvakapozera uye zvakafanira kuti kana vanhu vokuza kana noti vakapwa madhiramo akawanda zvokwadi gohora vano vana vanogona kuti zaka district haimbo zvichemite michino tsvaka dikapo nemamwe madhiramo kana kuti mama problem inenge ichifanza kuti iri zvipechi kapo chakapwana kukurikidza nokuchiwana kuzaka North Constituency Ndiri ipapo zvekare mukuru wenyika wakataura nyaya yezviborani ndikaona kuti pfungwa dzina president wedu ndodzo kuti munhu wese ange achirara mapeyi wakati simukire ndokuwa ndaona kuti zviborani zvakaleva izvi kuti ma sana makumi ma zvuma makumi matatu namasana mashanu yatinga kuti rumbi 10 vaka
kuchikoro chinonzi gungu, kuchikoro chinonzi chitema, kuchikoro chinonzi muroi. Inoprozesa mashupati nao. 
kombura ini kuno zatlu wana mbura ya kawana kuda ni kawana kwa harai wana kuno zatlu wana mageza no ya kuno se mageza kwa harai wana zatlu wana 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 njeri wana kuno wana 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 chikoro wana kwa harai kuno saka baza wana wana chikoro wana kubla wana 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 kuno saka mabaza chakon nereku gazi lakini industri yetu muno msaka no tona kutikuna fetu wana 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 prosesa wana 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 Vana kachua na mabasa. Ropa ipa hapo, chile da hindi, di hindi kukupeti sila, sesu matu nguwa ya mbu ya jambu pera. Eee, vichachaura, na ea kachau bane mkuwe hika, ajichaura mese wabu yoru sunungu ko. Eee, vana wakabu gira hika, kutitime yoru sunungu ko, patina ko. Ika wana kutu rupenyu wa tinora na maike, zuno, wakabandi hika. Kudami chao wata waira la miwa, kisa kisa wa leo sungu. Dika wana kuti wana wakaita basa, wakaita kuhondo, wasina kuinda kuhondo waka sara wa nguno, wana babana na mewe ikira, wana mti banana jimgiro. Dika wana kuti pakatipe na hiyo waka chao wana mkuwe nika. Waka chao wana waka naka kutifane, yo waka wana chao chere chetu. Walau bawa farao, nukut tu agak jauh pasar nukosha, nukut itu dia nukut sunung buku apa china. Ini nukut pada susah susah nukut pada orang nukut jauh pasar bawa muka ayam. Ini nukut tu orang orang nukut jauh pasar bawa muka ayam. Wasi nak punya sabuk cangkang dan apa apa nana mai nukut apa apa nana nana mai. Wah ini tak punya bez. Kamu bawa orang nukut hondo sakat china kuah nampu ayat kuah na. Sakau ini muka jauh putih ini bayi tu icer icer. Kudu mana nukut kade orang orang ni cawu biri. Kita buat apa? 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 Kita bu Roku kazira mchewo eni kabuti ni kaifanwe para mirito eni kaya japa za kabuti ni kaifanwe shaka. Saka no banda wana kabuti ni kaifanwe shaka na kandi ni la nimu wana kabuti shuse ni kaifanwe shaka. Saka no babu itaisho. Dino banda wana kabuti ni 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 mumu banda kabuti. Bakuwe kubati moye kabuti kana uchita kumucha kana kana. Kuka wana osho kufaza pasa ni nda kufa basa. Saka ipa po, mete mspika man. Deka hindi pa jikes. Mete mspika man. Sireja, ipa sa mjiti ayawa.
discussão. O Big Via deve ser isso. Esse desfile vai estar ali. Let me also congratulate our chief whip, Jeffrey, chief whip for the year of the election. The chief whips. Let me also congratulate my fellow MPs for being the elected to be the representative of people in the National House. I'd like to congratulate them. Madam Speaker, um, let me start by giving me a quote to summarize the speech of His Excellency. And it also defines the kind of a man he is. Let me give you a quote by one of the renowned business people, person in the world, Bill Gates. Unquote. Show me an organization with integrity. I will show you and distribute your success. Close quote. What Bill Gates meant was integrity equals to success. The president in his address, he expressed a lot of projects which, he, which were done by the second public success in the two years. I don't want to say four years because the other two years we were under COVID and nothing was happening. To define this man as a man of integrity, let me show you an undisputed success to the people of Zimbabwe, which he has achieved. I can start with your with the effort. There are so many projects which can take off. Is there anyone who can dispute that success? Our passport office, I've been there last week. It took me five minutes from the start of the process up to the end. <laughs> That's integrity. The man is at work. Integrity equals to success. Talk of the bread which what a cost. At times our people we don't want to celebrate our own success, but people outside the country they see what we what the president has done for us. In the two years, that is great. Our bet we would have put a post even amazed the South African president. He was there to see what his counterpart had done. So we need to applaud our president. His excellence is so appetite, it was so much appetite for development. <laughs> Uh, it would be unfair for us to go without pointing out one of the projects which is successfully uh, completed, which is the Parliament House. If you go to that magnificent building, even the opposition guys, they were happy to be that building. <laughs> it's a way it is being run by, by a man of integrity. Integrity equals to success. Show me a man of integrity. I'm putting in my own way, and then I will show you the success that he has achieved for his, our great nation, for his people. Our president, uh, in his speech, he spoke about various projects which he has done, and some of them which are near completion. To me, he calls himself uh, a seventh leader, a seventh, a seventh leader. But he, when I was looking at him and the work which he had done for the nation, his excellence is a transformational leader. He qualifies all the four eyes for a transformational leader for what he has done for our country and for his people. An intellectual motivator just yesterday. He was residing on, a, on an innovation on an innovation conference, which he opened yesterday. That's his appetite for innovation, which he, which he qualifies him under one of the eyes of a transformational leader. Our president, 
um, doesn't stop to amaze me with the way he has managed to connect generations from his time as a, as, as a liberation fighter, from what he has done for this country, and it was he is doing for the current generation, the way he is fitting in everyone and bringing everything together. He is the right man to lead us. He is the right man to lead our country with his vision. Our president is a visionary. It amazed me how we came up with the vision 2030. Under this environment, when I'm talking of the environment, with the environment dynamisms, with what is happening in our economy, where there are a lot of um, a lot of uncertainties, but why can not sit down and come up with a vision 2030? That's quite amazing to describe such a man. Um, I'm not being prophetic. I'm not surprised to find. Uh, to, find, to find him coming up with the NTS2. He started from the TS3, he moved on to, uh, to NTS1, which he is expecting to use the result by 2025. Then from 2025, I'm not surprised to find him coming up with the, uh, with the national NTS2 to then bridge the cap from, the, from 2025 to 2030 to achieve this vision 2030. Madam Speaker, what the President spoke about, they are there for all of us to see. Let me tell you a story which made me feel so proud and sad at the same time. Three days ago, I was traveling from, from, from Joburg, from South Africa. I had a group of, um, of white visitors who were coming here. The way they celebrated our airports and us in Zimbabwe, we are failing to celebrate something which was done by our own resources and our own people. It's so sad. But this is a beautiful airport. And they were chatting and liking it. You know, this is a, this is a beautiful airport. That's the only thing. This is a Madam Speaker, let me talk about the successes which were done by the president in my own constituency. I'm from Rio West constituency, which is from, uh, which is little kilometers from here. Uh, that's where I'm coming from. We had a very bad incident where one family lost two family members, uh, a boy off and another one uh, who's doing form two. Uh, they are saying it was due to malaria. So I had to call them this morning. That's where I'm coming from. There are a lot of success projects which the president has done under the second term. Madam Speaker, words are, words are powerful. When the president is <coughs> in office, when, um, when uh, he spoke about um, let's try to build Zimbabwe using our own resources. Those words were, were prophetic. In my own area, that's where Kunti Jam is being built. It's now 45% it's now complete. Uh, they are busy working on it. But if I tell you, there are so many minerals which, which some of us have never heard of, which are under exploration, which are coming out of the ground, to support the vision of a visionary, to support the words of a gifted and a, and, and, and a spiritual leader, is excellent. As we went around doing our business in my constituency, there are issues which I would want these customers to take to take note of, which I hope uh, as we will be putting up the various policies, the various laws uh, we need to look at. I'm concerned uh, about the issue of um, about the health issue of um, yeah, let me say the chronic disease issues in my own area, especially blood, blood, blood pressure. People are having problems to access the, the drugs. So my humble appeal to the August House is if we can come up with the police where those who are 50 years and above, they, they will be able to access free medical aid 
uh, especially the blood pressure is, 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 up, is, is causing havoc in our area. People are suffering, the old people. We have worked for this country tirelessly. So they may need to be looked at in as far as the drug, the, the, the blood pressure drugs are concerned. And I tell you, uh, uh, last month I went to UK. I'm very happy that people are now starting to realize the project that has been done by the president. But they also spoke about the quick wins. Uh, I spoke about, say, 10 people. Eight of them, they were talking about the chronic diseases like the blood pressure. We send our parents money to Zimbabwe, but they cannot get this, they cannot get the blood pressure drugs and what have you. So it's a problem which we also faced in our own constituencies as we are campaigning. So it's something that, um, that I would want to put forward. It, it can be looked at so that we can, I know there's a law of free, free medical access to those who are cities and above. <coughs> uh, I'm of the suggestion that or of opinion that if the age group can be brought down to 50 years, those are people who are suffering. <coughs> if we can start with blood pressure, I know there are so many chronic illnesses around. But if you can start with the blood pressure, it's a, it's a very big problem, which you find in almost every household. So that would be a quick win to complement what our president is doing to this to, to this uh, On that note, uh, Madam Speaker, a lot of things have been done. Uh, let me come to the last aspect of the bills which the president has spoken about, uh, which, we, which he requested this August House to quickly look at and make sure that they are enacted into law. Uh, what I want to appeal to, my, to, to, to the August House is those are very critical, but these are the tools for development, which needs to be used by someone who has got so much appetite for development like our president. So I don't think our work is that much. It's a question of putting up together and making those laws, which he requested in his own solar address to be looked at so that um, he will be able to execute some of the projects without being hindered by some of the colonial laws which we are currently using. One of them, which I've got interest in, I've got three which I'm going to talk about, but there were so many. Spoke about 53 views, and five of them, they are they already at a certain level of, uh, of completion, which, we are, which this house will be looking at. I'm going to look at the sports bill. I've got a lot of interest in sports. Madam Speaker, it's so sad that in our country we don't have a stadium to host matches. And in his speech, His Excellency, he emphasized the importance of sports, and one of them is Yawa. One of them is Yawa. So it's something that uh, I would want to, uh, my fellow, uh, my fellow, my, my fellow honorables, when you are looking at these laws, to look at quickly and put it into law so that we can have at least one international stadium. Sports is very important because if people are, if people are, 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 are involved in sports so much, they forget about other things which are happening. I can tell you the times we spent a day or a week uh, discussing a match which was played in 1996, a sport which was played long back. So it's something that can occupy people's minds and it can also bring in what you call it, the health, physically and even the mental health, when people are now involved in sports. So that's one bill which I was looking at. The next bill, His Excellence was fought on when he was talking about the SME's bill. Uh, I'm working on a, this is on a model, on a model, uh, on, a, on a model to, uh, to improve resilience with SME's. If we start from the from the law perspective, we'll now be able to have a model that can be used to make sure that our SMEs are like the current situation whereby most SMEs they only exist from zero to three or five years and they go they they, they go they go <coughs> under. It's because we don't have laws. We know we have got a ministry uh, which is working on that, so we need to come up with laws which can then help both their different models which are used in different countries, depending on what you want to achieve. So it's one area which is very critical because 80% of African industry is now issued on SMEs, African economies. So it's a very important view that we need to look at quickly to make sure that we make the man at work work. Without those tools, you won't be able to, to succeed to do what you want to do. The third view, which I also want to look at and pass my comment on, 
eating the youth bill, drug abuse. Uh, we are worried that we might end up looking uh, for very, very old men in our communities to make sure that the next generations are met. Our young generations are dying because of drugs, Madam Speaker. They are stuck, even if they get into the bedroom, they are stuck. Which is very dangerous. Which is very dangerous to a nation. Uh, thank you so much, Madam, Madam Speaker. Which is very, very dangerous for a nation to have, have people getting, getting stuck on drugs, especially the young generation. Or the future of every country is the young generation. So it's something that we are also saying we have to, have to look at it uh, with agency it deserves so that we make sure that uh, our kids have life and when we then go to rest when our time comes, we will be comfortable to know that we have left people. Our country will go under their noses. It's another risk to have. We have a very good future, future generation to look into it. So it's something that uh, we like to think the president with his mind, his mindset, what he's looking at is a visionary, a visionary man indeed. Uh, on that note, Madam Speaker, thank you very much for affording me this opportunity and giving me this time to lay out my, my own views on the things which are pertaining on the ground, including my own constituents. Thank you so much.
Nagawa. Again, his address by acknowledging the recent successful harmonized general elections, which were conducted in accordance with our democratic tradition and practice. He congratulated all the elected members of parliament and senators, recognizing the immense responsibility that comes with serving our great nation. The president emphasized the progress made in various sectors of our country, despite the challenges posed by illegal sanctions. He highlighted his achievement in agriculture and the growth of our mining sector and the measure taken to end power supply and road infrastructure. The impressive growth in the tourism sector and the development of our science and technology were also celebrated by the state. We must appreciate the government's commitment to the industrialization, infrastructure development, and the empowerment of small scale enterprises, which are essential for the improvement of the life our citizens are The president's remarks on the decentralization in improving access to education and to health care, water and sanitation service underscore our commitment to bettering the lives of our fellow Zimbabweans. Madam Speaker, one of the most noteworthy initi initiatives in the drilling of 25,000 bore, which in particular significant for areas like Urua East, where I come from, where access to reliable water sources is central for agriculture. Additionally, the establishment of village agribusiness unity will consolidate our national agricultural productivity and ensure the food self-sufficiency. Madam Speaker, uh, as a representative of Urube East in Urube, I am particularly heartened by these measures that they are directly benefiting our predominantly crop growing constituency, where food yields are essential for the livelihood of our people. President Nangago also outlined a comprehensive legislative uh, agenda for this parliament, he underscored the importance of concluding bills from the previous uh, parliament and introducing new legislation, including measures to address climate changes, economic empowerment, healthy, and empowerment of our youth that we know the majority of them uh, are being affected by drug and substance abuse and also women empowerment. Madam Speaker, as we prepare to deliberate on these proposed bills, we must be mindful of their potential impact on our people. Our duty as a representative is to ensure that these laws truly serve the best interests of our constituencies, promote transparency, and uphold the rule of law. Madam Speaker, the President addressed also highlight the need to strengthen our partnership and cooperation with the international community, recognize important international agreements and conventions and amending laws that align with our constitutional principles and our vital steps in, the, in this direction. Furthermore, Madam Speaker, President Magad emphasized the importance of unity, peace, and patriotism in building our beloved nation. He noted the progress made in various provinces, acknowledging the contribution of our local <coughs> communities to our national development. In his closing remarks, Madam Speaker, President Nagaba expressed his belief in the strength and the resilience of the people of Zimbabwe and emphasized the importance of unity and peace in achieving our national goal. He shared, he shared this commitment to the welfare of our citizens as exemplified by the distribution of computers and, and their farming inputs like computer. 
as a representative of the people, it is our duty to ensure that these promises are fulfilled and the welfare of our constituencies is prioritized in all our deliberations. In conclusion, Madam Speaker, let me tell you my commitment to save the people of Burundi and all Zimbabwe with the dedication, integrity, and with the passion. I look forward to working along, alongside with you all in this parliament for the betterment of our beloved nation. Together, we can build a brighter and a more prosperous Zimbabwe for, for the generations to come. Like the president said, Nika, you know what? Ego Tumwa, never in life. Ego Namatiwa, never in life. I thank you, Madam Speaker. God bless Urumwe. God bless Mashore and Best. God bless Zimbabwe. I thank you, Madam Speaker.